What was that? That was Charlie McDonald, and oh my god, he is just like, oh, why can't I be Charlie? Oh, and how did you? How did she meet? What? Oh, enough of that. Today is a special type of vlog day, because it's Wednesday, and it's Comic Wednesday. Once a month, on one of the Wednesdays where I'm supposed to talk about books I read, I'm going to talk about comics. I've done that for, like, since I started these daily vlogs. Um... And today I went to the comic store because, for, for those of you who don't know, Wednesday is Comic Wednesday. So the new comics that you're subscribed to come in on Wednesday, so every Wednesday you should go and pick up comics. And um, normally I just talk about trade paperbacks. It was a text. It was very important. I had to check it. I normally talk about trade paperbacks because it's easiest to buy. And um, when it comes down to it, if you're going to buy a comic, you should get the first six. And they come in little trade paperbacks. You can go to the like, chapters even. Super easy to buy trades. Um, and that way, when you buy a comic, it's like three bucks and you're gambling on a story that you might not like. Really, that's what it comes down to. Because the story only is like 10, 11 pages in. So you don't know if you're going to like the entire series or not. And uh, it's always a gamble. It's always a risk. Usually you get attached to authors. You get attached to artists. You get attached to characters, like some people just buy Spider-Man, but the thing is, sometimes they'll put a crappy writer on, or they'll have a horrible artist, and you don't want to continue. I was actually talking about that with my new comic girl. Comic girl got something happened with her, they replaced her with someone else. Uh, it hasn't convinced me to be awesome yet, but time, first Wednesday. Um, and I thought, instead of talking about a trade, why don't I talk to you about what I'm currently reading? Like, what's on my pull list? I use Comixology.com. It connects to my comic distributor. And basically, they pull every comic immediately and just have them in a little box for me. So I just come there, I'm like, hey, what's up? And they'll be like, hey, I know you. Here's your comics. And I'm like, oh, thanks. That was very kind of you. Wow, I did a lot of talking without telling you anything about what I've been reading. Uh, uh, uh. So, I'm going to start with New Nomicon. This is the new one by Alan Moore. Butta, 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 butta. It's, yeah, as you can tell, really gory. Um, really Cthulhu, uh, P.H. Lovecraft this. It's a big murder mystery. There are monsters in it, so it's getting kind of really weird. The writing, of course, Alan Moore is very profound, very pay attention to everything that's said. And uh, <laughs> very pretentious. Um, above it is unwritten and I think that was the first comic one I did because they do have trades of unwritten right now and it's highly recommended go back watch that uh, I think next month I'll probably talk about another one by the author of it Mike Carey so I'll probably revamp and tell you what's been going on in the unwritten universe so I'll skip that only because I'm like a pretty big fanboy I'm also subscribed to X23 um all the series I'm showing you, by the way, are current ongoing series. They haven't finished, and they're, like, continuously going. So if you're thinking about getting into comics, like, Unwritten, New Nomicon, X-23, they're in their infancy. So they're in their first 20, 10 books. So you can catch up. You can go into it. And, like, when you're, like, trying to jump into Marvel Universe, Spider-Man's up in the hundreds, Deadpool's up in the hundreds, everyone's, like, in the hundreds. It's really hard to, like, just jump in. X-23 just started a brand new storyline. New Nomicon, first thing from Alan Moore in years. Um, Unwritten, Mike Carey's new project. Brilliant, I think. Um, X-23 is going quite fun. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, X-23, for those who aren't very familiar with the Marvel Universe, is Wolverine's clone. When he escaped from the little place where they put adamantium on him, they found part of his DNA, but it didn't have the male chromosome, just had the X chromosome, the 23rd chromosome, X23. So she's a female version of Wolverine, trained at a very young age to be a weapon, just like Wolverine was supposed to be trained, then saved by Xavier or some nonsense, and she's just off on her own, finding her own stuff right now. It's really cool. I enjoy it. Um, this is the new one written. Just picked it up. This is the new X23, where she meets her... Clone son? What is that? If your clone had a... If Wolverine's son, what is that to... Because it's your clone son. 
It's is it your son? No, it's your clone son. What do you call that? That was it. Your nephew? I don't know. Well, um, I also started this on my pull. This is Cinderella. It's by Fable. It's a spinoff of a series called Fables. Really good, highly award-winning comic book series. Um, I really enjoyed it when I was younger, but when I started getting back into comics this year, they're up in like 109s, and I really can't afford to buy 109 worth of books of comics. Or they also have trade paperbacks. If you're into sort of um, modern-day fables, fable is your comic, really. Um, there's, I think, 13 trades, no, 14 trade paperbacks. Like, each one has like a collection of like... 10 books. What's a trade paperback look like? They look like this. They look like graphic novels. This contains six of this series, which I haven't read, and I'll talk about that. That's the my carry one I was going to tell you I was going to do next month. I'll do something else next month. That'll be in like two months from now. Psh, so many comics to read. Um, but basically, this is a character, Cinderella. She's in New York. Well, not in this one. But yeah, she's in New York is where she's in Fable. And she has her own little spin-off. Lots of comic book characters have spin-offs. There's only three in right now. So if you're sort of into, like, Cinderella-type princess, but very modern-day modern day female power kind of stuff, I'm such a loser. Because that's what I'm into. Uh, Cinderella. Super cool. Super hot. Um, X-23 is Marvel Universe. Unwritten. You just have to read it. You really do. New Nomicon, Alamore. Very dark. Very gory. And this is a new one I picked up today. Highly recommended by a guy. Um, once again, Mike Carey, if you can read that. So, I didn't know what this was. I was confused because it said Marvel, and then it said CrossGen, and I had no idea what CrossGen was. But apparently it was a company that, like, bombed back in the 90s, had a bunch of comic books, and then, uh, they went bankrupt and Disney bought them. And when Disney recently bought Marvel, Marvel's like, hey, can we use those characters that you bought back in the 90s and they're like we're not using them so marvel relaunched with a bunch of new artists a bunch of new writers some of the old writers came back on the project of course and started this and like i said i haven't read this i'm gonna read this this week probably it's called uh, sigil and hopefully it's good and that's the way comics go when you buy comics well i when i do these read a book a day read a book a week I always recommend trade paperbacks because that way I know like this is a segment of a story. So you will enjoy the story or you won't enjoy the story. When it's comics, you don't know because it always leaves you in to be continued. Every trade paperback will give you a more or less beginning and end. Um, all of these comics right here, if you look just slightly behind like the one issue, you'll find a trade paperback version of it. Uh, that's because I like collecting and I like reading the actual trade paperbacks. I have all the Sandman series in trade downstairs. I have almost, I have none of them on single comics. Comics, I should just give a lesson on how to, what comics are and just lingo. Um, yeah, but Sigil, brand new thing. I'll tell you probably later on if it's decent or not. Go every Wednesday, I'll just put it in like a Thursday vlog. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm reading. I'm reading Cinderella. I'm reading X-23, I'm reading um, Unwritten, and I'm reading Sigil now. And probably one more next week that I've heard a brand new series is popping up. We'll start reading that. Unwritten, right now, still my favorite comic book currently running. X-23 and New Nomicon. New Nomicon hasn't really bought me yet, but New Nomicon's only on issue four right now. But yeah, if you want to get into comics, and any of those sound uh, good and happening... Pick them up, because they're currently ongoing. They're stories that every Wednesday, well, no. Once a month, usually, sometimes twice a month, you can go down to your comic book store and pick up a new one and be like, hey, my story's continuing, and you're sort of on the cusp of a new comic. So I can recommend tons of old comics, but I really want to get into what's coming out in the comic book world right now, because, you know, it's sort of cool, and it's sort of, you know, I was there. 2011, they released this great series called Unwritten. Read Unwritten. Go back, watch my video about Unwritten, where I don't give it any justice. Like, I'm right now in, like, 21. I did that review in just the first six books. So much better now. Um, okay, thanks for watching. This has been really long. None of my vlogs are this long. If this is the first one you're watching of mine, blah!
<laughs> I'm so exasperated. What's going on? I love you all. I know like five of you that are going to watch this. And I really do love you guys. If you're new, love you too. Just full of love. Check out my Johnny the Homicidal Maniac poster. Look at those faces. I wish I had that many faces, but I only got one. Shouldn't have done that. Bye.